Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker for My Favorite Things. I have a pretty quick, easy Christmas card to share with you today. I think that this one is one that anybody could make. It's pretty simple, but I think that the results are really stunning. The main focus for today's card are going to be these stocking dies. I'm using the Stocking Trio die set from My Favorite Things. It's part of the new release. And this die set cuts out three different sizes of Christmas stockings. And it also has another piece that cuts out the tops of the stockings as well as if you want to do toe and heel pieces. For my stockings, I decided not to do the toe and heel pieces, but you definitely could for yours. And this one piece cuts them all out at the same time. So I took this die set and I cut a bunch of these stockings out of different colors of cardstock. I was really inspired by the color combo that I used in my last video on the MFT channel where I did a bunch of different cards using kind of a rainbowy style color combo. Not exactly a rainbow, but, but super bright colors. And I wanted to do another Christmas card with those kind of colors. So I picked out nine different colors and I cut my stockings out of them and I cut the little top white piece of each of the stockings as well and I glued those together with some liquid adhesive. For my background, I grabbed a piece of really dark blue cardstock and I cut it down to four and a half by three and a quarter inches and then I prepped it with a powder tool for some embossing. I then grabbed the first snowfall stencil and I taped the blue piece of paper to the back of it and I just kind of squished my Versamark ink pad down on to the stencil making sure that that ink gets into all of those nooks and crannies and then I embossed this with a clear glitter embossing powder. I really like to do this technique when I want the look of a texture paste, but I just don't have a lot of time to wait for the texture paste to dry. So I use embossing powder instead. Now I do really like the look of texture paste a little bit better, but this will do in a pinch if you want to make a card quicker and not have to wait for the drying. Once that was embossed, I wiped off any of the excess powder that was remaining on there. And then I grabbed a really dark navy dye ink and I'm using a blending tool to blend that onto the edges. And I really like the way that this makes my background kind of look like it's glowing. I will say this though, as a warning, the dye ink really did kind of dye my cutting mat so that that one spot is still blue. I think that I'll be able to get it off with maybe a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. I'll have to test it and see if that works. But if you don't want to dye your cutting mat, you might want to do your blending on a different surface. So I popped that background up with some foam tape onto an A2 size white card base. And then I added little pieces of foam tape to the back of each of the stockings and I laid them out so that they are in three rows of three. And then I popped them all up as well. For my sentiment, I looked through my stamp sets to try to find one that worked well with this card. And the one that I ended up going with came from the Tremendous Friends stamp set, which is also from the new release. And it has a lot of really cute images in it. And it says, happiest of holidays. So I stamped that with Versamark ink onto some black cardstock, and then I embossed it with white embossing powder. And then I adhered it to the card using a combination of both liquid adhesive and foam tape, just a couple of little pieces of foam tape for the parts of that sentiment strip that hang off of the sides so that the dimension matches the dimension on the stockings. For the last final touches on this card, I first took my Wink of Stella glitter brush and I added a little bit of sparkle to the white parts on those stockings. And then I took my white gel pen and I decided to do a dashed line around the border of the blue background. And I really like the way that those simple little touches change the whole look of the card. 
Here's a look at the results. I really love the way that this card turned out. Sadly, the camera doesn't really pick up on the sparkle that's on the white parts of the stockings, but I really love the way that that turned out as well. I hope that you really enjoyed this video and that it gave you some ideas. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I'll see you next time.